Hiya, my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel and today, apart from being the day that we find out who's in the final of RuPaul's Drag Race, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, it's also the day, it's also um, the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia. Now, because of this day, um, my lo the lovely Ollie from Ollie Bliss created a tag around it and he tagged me, so thank you Ollie. Um, I can't wait to do this tag, there's so many wonderful questions that he's created and it's the idea was that he wants to bring communities together and basically celebrate lots of um, LGBTQ plus literature and yeah, just be very inclusive and show lots of love. So yeah, thank you very much Ollie and I'm going to dive right into the tag questions. <laughs> right, the first question is Indomit Indomitable <laughs> Spirit. A book with a character that overcomes adversity, who regardless of where they come from or what external forces work against them, they are able to rise above and overcome because they are irrepressible. So the first book I've chosen for this is, oh, nearly picked up two books, <laughs> is The Terrible by Ursa Daly Ward. This is a biography about Ursa Daly Ward's um, life growing up in the north of England. It's told, it's... It's such a beautiful, beautiful book. It's got beautiful pro prose in it. Um, because Earth Daily Ward is actually a poet, but she grew up in a very religious family and um, her, her mum was very difficult for her. It was very, she had a very hard life growing up. Um, and yeah, she's just such a wonderful woman and so inspirational to me and she definitely fits this criteria. And this itself, this book is just gorgeous. Um, and I want, so I've, I've talked about it before, but I want loads of you to read it because I just think that she's just such a wonderful writer and this is such a gorgeous book as I keep saying. <laughs> so yeah, that's my first answer for the first question for I. Um, for D, um, Dynamic Divergence, a character who acts differently to the status quo, either in thoughts, physicality or acts and behaviour. Now this book is kind of similar to the first book you'll see when I show you, it's Oranges Aren't the Only Fruit. Now again, um, this is written by Jeanette Winterson. This is, um, is, this is a piece of fiction, but it's sort of se semi-autobiographical, so it's sort of a lot of it runs along the themes that Jeanette Winterson had growing up in, as well. So, um, and this is told about a girl called Jeanette, who is, I think she's 16, if, it's wrong, if I'm wrong, I'm going to write that across the screen. Um, and she, again, um, grew grew up in um she's uh, grew up in grew up in a, a very religious family and her mum was constantly trying to like break her spirit and to try and tell her that she was wrong in everything that she was doing kind of thing but um she broke the mold and i just think that yeah so she she acted differently from the story to, this is what I'm interpreting it as, and again, this is one such a wonderful story, and it's got magical realism as well, and such fantastical elements, and I just think it's beautiful, so I wanted to talk about this one. So that's my answer for D, Dynamic Divergence. Now, for A, um, Age of Aquarius, The Dawn of a Revolution, find a book which discusses change, this is about flattening the pyramid and individuals assuming more power. This is about acknowledging a broken system and, crucially, not waiting for someone to fix it. So this is such a cool question, actually. And the, the first book that came instantly to my mind when um, I heard this question was one I'm sort of halfway through. Um, it's called She Called Me Woman. But, um, and this is a collection of essays by... Uh, I can't remember how many Nigerian women, but by a load of Nigerian women um, and it's so groundbreaking because there are laws in place which like ban um, make, which make being gay illegal um, in Nigeria I'm fairly certain and the and so these women um, they're sort of fighting a lot of these they're all, they're all very different stories so don't get me wrong they're not all, they're, um, but they're fighting against this, and they're, they're trying to make change, basically, is what I'm saying. And um, there's like so many themes within this as well about um, breaking um, gender, like gender stereo stereotypes, and a lot of them talking about stereotypes within their own queer communities um, and expectations of them just because of themselves being queer. It's so interesting. There's so many beautiful things in here. Um, and another thing I like is that. Um, 
because some, obviously some of these come with trigger warnings but at the beginning of each person's story it will highlight in like italics at the top and tell you so if you are sensitive not every single story has trigger warnings just to be clear um, but yeah they, they, that, that's another thing I thought was quite interesting as well it's gorgeous there's so many wonderful things again as I'm gonna say with all of these books and it's very unique and I definitely think that it's definitely breaking um you know it's it's very revolutionary um, and I saw this on Eric Carl Anderson's channel obviously he's one of the books I think he hauled fairly recently and I picked it up so yeah well, I got it it was a present, I can't remember. Either which way. Yeah. So yeah. <sighs> right. Um question four is healing hearts. For stories that resolve justice and build peace or happiness. Any book which gives you the warm fuzzies uh, feelings. And you guys will probably all know which book I'm going to say. And this is Proud Book. It's a collection of short stories edited and compiled by Juno Dawson and Juno Dawson herself is um was quite a brand great groundbreaking lady she's amazing and she is a trans lady and she's just so wonderful and so inspiring and she's got a, together this in case you guys are new to my channel this um is a collection of short stories by LGBTQ um plus um writers and artists so this has a range, this is so diverse, it's got um, people from all different ethnicities as well as um, across the um, LGBTQ spectrum. So it's such a wonderful book and all the stories are, um, I think a lot of them are predominantly aimed at like teenagers but uh, like, uh, obviously you can read, anyone can read it. But this is such a beautiful book and I love it so so much for so many reasons and I've gushed and gushed about it. So um, And it's got so much heart to it so it definitely fits the healing hearts category so that's that one so the next one is oh open-minded observer those stories and characters that feature outsiders and observers a story um where someone has observed their surroundings and um drawn their own conclusions about the context of where they live so for this one i have picked jen campbell's the girl aquarium and um, jen uh, obviously as you most probably will all know identifies as lgbtq and um not only does she um, sort of like this is very this is piece this is a work of poetry in case you don't know, and um, it's I feel like it's very very observational. It's her, Jen, a lot of them are Jen's observations. Some of it, a lot a lot of them come from her own experiences, but also um, some of them are about um, her observations are definitely um, including about her observations about sexuality and her body, body, body and so many other things and this is such a wonderful collection I've not long finished this collect and it's so beautiful and I love it so so much and yeah as I do all of them I'm gonna say right anyway the next one is six is um it's B so B for brave beings stories of acts of boldness and bravery where an individual or group or community stepped up their game in some way the moments of bravery that really stood out to you so for this, I have picked um, this book, and it's called Queer There and Everywhere. I picked this up from Gay's the Word in London when I did, went to London last year, um, and that bookshop is amazing. And if you're ever in London, I'm sure a lot of you would probably would have heard about it, but it's such an amazing bookshop, and they're so welcoming and friendly, obviously. <laughs> um, this is a um, book written by Sarah Prager, and she talks about 23... Um, LGBTQ plus um, like people, real life people, who were basically trailblazers. They were they they um, either invented invent says invented radicalized and trailblazers. So um, and the two people in this book that there's so many stories in here that I love and I have talked about this book before. Um, but there's two people in particular that, oh, that stood out to me and one of them is um, I'll show you Lily Elb and she was the first. Um, person to attempt gender reassignment surgery. I heard about her through the film um, first, the, called The Danish Girl, and that um, where Reddy Edmain, Reddy, Eddie, Eddie Redmayne, sorry, gosh, what am I like? Um, Eddie Redmain plays um, Lily Elb, and yeah, and that was such a beautiful movie. And then hearing about um, her in this as well is just it was so wonderful, so moving. And the second person, um, which I'd never actually ever heard of, was Joseph Kahoot. And he was one of the, oh, here we go, 
one of the only um he's one of the only gay survivors in the holocaust and it tells you how that how um it's sort of his story of how that happened and the things that he had to do in order to survive and it was, it was so raw and so hard and it was very moving so um yeah this is such a wonderful collection of um this is a really really good book and it's got numerous brave beings in it so the next one is Interna is I International Inspirations a book originating from a country separate from your own that has inspired your imagination in some way it could be about anything um, anywhere and anything and I'm going to mention it again Flames by Robbie Arnott I don't know whether you guys know that this has actually got LGBTQ plus characters in it this has got um, it, but it has and so um, I don't want to spoil how because I feel like you need to read the book um, but yeah, there, there, there is a, a romance in here, and um, a character in here that um, is just so wonderful. And this book is very um, creative and inspirational. This comes from Australia. This is an Aust uh, um, a piece of Australian fiction. Um, in case you're new to my channel and you don't know, and um, this is about um, it's like a story of Levi McAllister um, and his sister Charlotte. And basically, what's happened is um, their mother has recently died. And in in their family, the McAllister women, um, once they've passed, they um, turn into these like creatures, like and um, basically, Levi, do Levi, Levi doesn't want that to happen to his sister, so he, he thinks it's a good idea to build a coffin. And um, it's very hard to explain, but yeah, he builds his coffin. And his sister Charlotte finds out, and then they set off on an adventure around Tasmania. This is so creative, it's got magical realism in it, which is massively a trope that I love, and um, yeah, and the characters in this and the story in this is just so beautiful, and it's one of my favourite books of all time, so yeah, that is my answer for that one. <laughs> and the last one I'm going to talk about is, is Tea, Thoroughly Thrilling. This is a book with, um, which is thrilling in some way, adventure, fantasy, horror, sci-fi, and of course a thriller. Now this was the one, I'm not going to lie, that I found the hardest to get because I don't read a lot of thrillers as you guys will probably know um, and I do like I do like adventure stories but either which way. So I can't wait to when I'm watching all of these this, these tag videos coming up um, today I will probably be most interested in seeing, I'll be interested in all the answers but most excited to see the answers for this particular one. So the answer that I've got is actually a book that I haven't actually read. I've, I've read I've read like 80 pages of it. Um, and it's called The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. And this is a book I've written notes down because it's so complicated. This is a fantasy book set in like a world like different from our own um, sort of like an alternate earth as, as, as it were. Um, and it's um, the earth is called their earth is called the stillness and basically it's play it's like pla it's basically a land that's played plagued by constant seismic activity um and basically it's left led to like the near extinction of the population um and there are lgbtq characters in here and um, and um basically the story is that to do with these these one of the character lead characters is an origin which is a person that's born with a power that to manipulate the environment and around them from what i'm gathering i'm looking down for my notes to make sure that i don't get it wrong um yeah and yeah so what yeah so the lead character is one of these or, um characters with this special ability not not every character has this magical ability or is an or, origin but or, i'm saying i'm gonna say that wrong but yeah, and then this is one that Ollie has talked about, and I know Ollie, Ollie is reading the series. I think he's on the second book, is that right? I think that's the one he just recently talked about. But yeah, it's a part of the Broken Earth tr trilogy. So yeah, I can't wait to actually read this, and this um, fulfils the prompt of thoroughly thr thrilling. So thank you so much again, Ollie, for tagging me in this. Um, I can't wait to see everyone else's videos today, as I said. And I hope you guys are well. If you're new to my channel, I post videos normally on Wednesdays and Sundays. This is an exception as an extra. Um, I, and happy um, Idaho Hobbit Day, everybody. I, um, yeah. So take care. Bye. <laughs>